I tell you, people ask me, Swamiji, should I take you as my guru? Should I accept you as my guru? I said, no. If I am your guru, this person itself will not raise. Simply you will feel for me. You will feel it. The question will simply disappear. And simply you will feel like relating. I tell you, try to create maximum possible doubts. Because when you see the real master, he just take, he works on you beyond your doubts. He penetrates your being beyond your doubts. He just shakes the base of the doubts. He shakes the base of all your doubts. And when you really see the master, simply your whole being will be taken away by him. You will simply feel like going behind him. Even if I say, don't come tomorrow morning, you'll be there around me. You'll be just be there. Simply your whole being will be taken by him. So, you don't have to intellectually think much about it. Just wait as, just wait till it happens. When it happens, you know that he is a person. And by intellectually, if you try, you will never be able to make a right decision. Be very clear. You are already in the darkness. How can you find who is in the light? Person who is in the darkness, how can you find somebody is in the light? Tell me. Never. I have seen many people judging. Never. You can never judge. If you, if you is one thing, if you just, if your heart falls and if your heart feels so much attached, close, in tune with somebody, even if that person is not enlightened, he is going to help you. Just follow him. If your heart is not falling in tune, if you are, if you are not able to feel, even if he is enlightened, don't bother, he is not going to help you. Through him, is, you are not going to grow. So be very clear. Just listen to your heart. That's all. And your heart has got enough energy or the intelligence to guide you. Your heart has got enough of intelligence to guide you. It is far more higher, far more deeper, intelligent than your head. Which goes on judging. Yes. So when you use the word Eternal bliss, Nityananda, stays with you.